What's up my beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jens Enjoy. I'm here again with another video. With the title, I'm sure you guys already know what you want to watch. And you also saw the thumbnail before clicking on the video. Before I start the video, I just want to quickly say, please let's make this channel popular. If you're not subscribed to my channel, kind of click on the red subscribe button down below and also on the bell sign so you would be notified anytime I upload a new video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back to my channel. And if you're a returning viewer, you've not subscribed, please support us by subscribing. The subscribe button doesn't bite. It's just a step, um, just a few seconds, just one, two step. Click on the, on the red subscribe button, wait just a few seconds and also click on the bell sign. That way you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. So, um, this man you are seeing in this picture, um, on the left of your screen is um, Pastor Mike David. Why the person you are seeing in the middle of the screen is Apostle Johnson Suleiman. And no, on the left hand of the screen, I'm sorry, <laughs> is Pastor Mike David. The person in the middle of the screen is Apostle Johnson Suleiman. And the, the person at the right hand of the screen is Apostle Johnson Suleiman and the wife of uh, Pastor Mike David. So I'm sure you guys already know the story, but if you don't know the story, let me just brief you in case of people who are just watching the video for the first time, hearing the story for the first time. This man on the left hand side, in person of Mr. Mike, accused Apostle Johnson Suleiman of taking his wife away, stealing his wife away from him, you know, carrying his wife <laughs> away. But, you know, the wife came up to say that, no, something of such did not happen. He's not having an affair with the pastor, that her husband is just insane. Her husband is just saying anything he likes, that the man, you know, was abusing her. The man was used to drink and he's supposed to be a pastor. And if, if at all he's going to drink, he's not supposed to drink to be drunk, you know. But according to her, he has been abusing her. A lot of things have happened, you know. She, she left the marriage, you know, because of um, Apostle Johnson Suleiman. She left the marriage because, you know. She's tired of everything and she left with the children. But, you know, this man, Mr. Mike, was a pastor in Omega Fire Ministry before, you know, um, they, let's say they dethroned him or I don't know which best word to use. So he's no longer a pastor there due to the fact that Apostle Joseph Suleiman, you know, stopped him from being a pastor in the church, according to what I hear. And now the wife of this man that left her husband is now a pastor in one of the branch churches in Abuja. You can imagine that when a husband and wife, they are, you know, husband and wife, and the husband was a pastor in Apostle John Suleiman's church, and they were husband and wife, definitely the wife will be going to the same church. The children will be going to the same church. And any report on how the church is going, they will be giving report to Apostle John Suleiman, and he knows these people are couples. And now they are separated. I don't know. He didn't come to say anything. So I'm not judging. I'm just talking from my own perspective, from my own point of view. He, he didn't try to say, let's, I, I think so, to say, let's say to them or to say, um, let's, you know. Now, the wife is now a, 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 a pastor in one of the branch churches in Abuja. I don't know how that come and be. So I'm not judging here. For you people who already know the story, <laughs> I didn't say anything. I didn't judge because there's no full concrete proof. So now the, the leaked audio, because when this man was talking, Mr. David was talking, in one of the, in one of the video he did, he was saying he had the audio of when Apostle Johnson Suleiman said he was going to disappear. So the video, the audio is out now. I'm going to play it for you guys to, to listen to. You know, there are, there's already uproar on the internet, on Facebook, where some people were saying it is his voice, why some people were saying he's not the one, he's a setup, Mr. Mike is a fraud, Mr. Mike is this. So we are going to be reacting to some of the comments. But before we get into that, let me leave you guys to listen to the voice audio then we'll come back and we have to comment and i will also say some more things about what i feel i avoided you because of the way you talk but it's clear to me now that you are possessed with a demon the same thing that makes me avoid you keep repeating them you will die premature God will punish you. Whatever you're looking for in this life, you will not get it. I stepped aside now to make this call. God, you will die on timely death. I, I, from the day I noticed you don't know how to talk, I stopped talking to you. It's like you didn't notice. I was free. I was chatting. From the day I noticed your mind, you don't know how to talk. When I notice it, I say, I'm, because I'm very temperamental. My temper is not good. That's what I'm telling you tonight. 
I will make you disappear. Disappear as how, sir? You are a bastard. Stay off my phone. So, guys, in case you didn't hear well, so maybe you missed some word, I'm going to replay the audio for you guys to listen to again, you know, so that we will know. For you guys that know your papa's voice now, you will know if it is your papa. So, if it is not your papa, also drop a comment in the comment section to say, ah, this is not our papa. Let me know. So, I'm waiting for your comment. Listen to the audio again. Avoided you because of the way you talk. But it's clear to me now that you are possessed with a demon. The same thing that makes me avoid you, keep repeating them. You will die premature. God will punish you. Whatever you're looking for in this life, you will not get it. I stepped aside now to make this call. God, you will die on timely death. I, I, from the day I noticed you don't know how to talk, I stopped talking to you. It's like you didn't notice. I was free. I was chatting. From the day I noticed your mind, you don't know how to talk. When I notice it, I say, I'm, because I'm very temperamental, my temper is not good. That's what I'm telling you tonight. I will make you disappear. Disappear as how, sir? You are a bastard. Stay off my phone. So guys, I'm going to be reacting to some of the comments I saw on Facebook. Like, some comments are so, they are so annoying why some of them are very, very funny. So the first uh, person said, Apostle Suleiman is so intelligent, anointed and spiritual, sensitive to be trapped. A professor, the voice is far from his. See Jacob taking the voice of Esau. Thank God that even Isaac, whose eyes were dim or was dim, as a result of old age, was able to recognize the voice. So he was referring to Esau, Jacob, and Isaac, the issue that happened in the Bible. So the second person said, Church now scam in this Nigeria. Imagine a self acclaimed man of God saying someone will disappear, costing a fellow human like this. So the man should be investigated. Thank God I'm free from all this, my pastor, my father, and the Lord's stuff. I kneel down and pray in the confines of my room. God answers, my prayer moving on to the next person this person says no evidence here this can't hold water in any court the man should move on with his life and if apostle suleiman is guilty nemesis will catch up with him which definitely if he's guilty nemesis would catch up with him so this other person said judgment will start from the church especially nigerian church with all this with all this who posed as a pastor then the next person said they are quick to say jesus and hala but they do they do the most notorious things apostle suleiman need to be investigated he's probably made several people disappear in the past only god knows that it is this person's comment i didn't say so so the next person said everyone can be a victim of anger which sure i know everybody can be a victim of sometimes i get hungry but i think not to the point to tell my fellow human being that i'll make you disappear or you are going to die prematurely no even my enemy i don't pray for them to die as an individual i believe the apostle need to work on his temp temperament and should stop staining his garment so this person also believe according to the audio we heard the the person which we are not sure if the person is apostle or not saying that he, he, he you know he has a very bad temper so the next person said the government of nigeria really fit some people look at people defending this so-called pastor it's new certain hey guys this english want to remove my front teeth but thank god i survived it so what this um word meant is like it's like you know irritating it's making him to want to vomit they even they, they are even helping him to say he's temper temperamental what is the difference between apostle Suleiman and the suffer for 600 years pastor rubbish the next person said, and people still believe there's nothing fishy between John C. and this man's ex-wife. A divorcee that become a pastor in a church after you destroy his marriage, as alleged by David. This threat should be taken seriously. Disappear. It's a shame, I swear. You know, I said this the other time that <laughs> somebody who is a divorcee, you don't have a husband and you are a pastor and you are the head of a church. I don't understand. Like, I don't know how a common be. Why I'll be like Gary Jebu. If you soak it inside water, if you don't start drinking it, it will swell up. Because the thing still baffles me. You know, I know, yes, there are women who are pastors, there are women who are head of church, there are women who are founder of a church, but they have husbands. So which one is, like, I don't come and understand, but I'm not judging anyway. We will leave the judgment for God to do. And for those of you that have something to say about this, drop a comment in the comment section. I'm like eagerly, I am eagerly waiting for you guys' comments. So the next person said that, Anyone that says this is not John C's voice needs to be checked. He saw our brain well. Thank God that both of them are men of God. Make Undi touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Like, 
So that people will not come and attack him, you know. When you talk bad about um, a man of God, not like really talking bad on them, like when they do something wrong and you come to talk about it, people will come and say, oh, leave the judgment for God. Don't come and say anything about it. Why are you judging them? They are also human beings. They are also this. They are also, no, I thought they are human rights. You know, so he's trying to say, let those, you know, people will come and start saying, hey, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. So people like that should not come and attack him. Because these two people here now, they are men of God. So one man of God want to disappear, you know, want to make another man of God to disappear. So how are we going to judge this case? That's why I don't even know how to judge it. So let God do the judging, but you can still drop a comment. So the next person say, they are worse than politicians. That is why politicians always work with them. And the last comment I'm going to be reacting to says that this is not Apostle Suleiman's voice. I, I beg because it's a setup. You can hear the other pastor responding, disappear as how, with a calm voice. Yes, it was saying disappear as how. Definitely there are more conversations before this one. They, they should be an they should, you know, something would lead to this conversation. It's not as if this is the beginning of the conversation. So sometimes some kind of thing can happen between you and somebody and somebody is talking to you. You want to record what the person is saying as an evidence, but you know, maybe it did not come to your mind so early to do so. And by the time it comes to your mind, you feel like, oh, let me start recording it. And you start recording it. And you know, you need to be calm. You would even keep quiet. So the person will talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. So you can really see something to hold against the person. I think that is what is happening in between there. But I'm not sure. It's an alleged, um, you know, a voice. Apostle John Suleiman have not come to say, yes, this is my voice or no, it is not my voice. So I'm not saying it is his voice. But according to the voice my head, it's, um, you know, I'm not saying anything. So guys, this is going to be all for today's video. I'd like to know what you guys think about the video. Don't don't fail to drop a comment in the comment section subscribe to this channel that's the only way you can support me please subscribe and also share this video let other people get to know what is happening let them get to to know the latest um update if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back to my channel like you are the best Mwah. i love you guys i'm going to see you guys in my next video but before then you all stay blessed peace